fashion for us. Amanda? Madam Chair, Dr. Phil Martinez, Chair, Madam Vice Chair, Luis Portillo, Present, Secretary Mark Dominguez, Present, Trustee Dr. Gilbert Sena, Here, Trustee Diana Medrano, Trustee Kenneth Medina, Present, Trustee Rosalie Ortega. Um, Secretary, I mean, VP uh, Portillo, can you please read the um, Notice, yes, ma'am. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, January 24, 2024. This is the regular meeting or special meeting of the College Board Trustees. Notice that this meeting was provided in accordance with the following documents. The agenda was that these steps to our demand for today's meeting at the Office of Presidents and Office of the College that I have no ability to know to talk to the any person who is required for special accommodation to attend or participate may contact the Luna City College President at 505 454 2500 or 1 800 573 for extension 1000. Thank you. Um, is that right? Oh, Denise, can you lead us in the pledge of allegiance, please? Thank you. At this time, I would like to ask for approval of the agenda. I shall move. Is that up here? Thank you. And I second. And you ask for a privilege. Dr. President Martinez and fellow colleagues, I'd like to ask for a personal form of privilege for our next meeting. I'm asking for a personal form of privilege to move forward on our next meeting to put on the agenda uh, checks for the board. Uh, it's been brought to me by several colleagues, and my fiduciary duty is to respond to that. Two and a half weeks of this. That's not a reason. That's not a reason. Give direction. It's not for responsibility. It's a two and a half weeks. But we need to work on that and to give direction. Possibly follow the direction. Minutes followed by that. Madam Chair, you're being. Yeah. Do you have a response? Uh, clarification, Trustee Lemigas. For the next meeting, uh, for the next special meeting, for the next regular, <laughs> next regular meeting, because the meeting is too short already for the next meeting. Next item, VP for finance and administration. Manager, did we have that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, we did do roll yeah. call for the agenda. I'm sorry. My approval of the agenda, Dr. Chair. Matt Chair, Dr. Martinez. Yes. Madam Chair, Madam Vice Chair, Lee Portillo. Yes. Secretary Mark Bonini. Yes. Trustee Dr. Gilbert Sena. Yes. Trustee Diane Santana. Trustee Ken Medina. Yes, ma'am. Trustee Rosalie Ortega. And uh, Greg would be able to tell us that she's on Zoom, right? Yes, she we would be able to see that. Okay. Madam Chair, we extend our courtesy. To trust your data? Yes. The, uh, the Zoom okay. link was sent to everybody. Yeah, I just want to make sure that we follow through with that. If we do it for one, we do it for all. Uh, it's always on. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Ninja. Oh. Hi, Matt. Thanks for very much, Charlotte. I'm here. I'm sorry for the Eight 
Okay, I apologize that you're just getting the stuff this morning, and uh, I was waiting for some clarification from the bank, and that uh, didn't come until yesterday afternoon. And you're speaking specifically about stopping the gap? No, I'm talking about people first. Oh. So I'm going to just go over the memo because I know we just got this this morning. Make sure that everything is clear. So she has a death. Uh, is that the, what we're asking is that you take action on changing the operating centers on the bank accounts of the community first and at some of this capital. And so we do have a list. And the other thing that's important is to know that. So there's a list of uh, five items there. So the first item shows you at Community First who the current authorized signers are. And then under numbers two, three, and four, the cash management agreement, the pay, positive pay agreement, and provider agreements, those are the three individuals that are to do that program. And so primarily that is done by Donna and then Caroline and Francina, Francina and then Caroline. Yeah, that's right. However, it is the, so what you can see on the, the last third paragraph of the background, items two through four, in order for Francina and Caroline and Donna to have those functions to be able to do those actions under those agreements, they have to be on the signers. So that's the explanation of that. And then and, and who gave you that information? That is the information that I got from um, Eva at Community First Bank. Mm -hmm. So that is the clarification that I was waiting for yesterday afternoon. Secretary Dominguez? So she's stating that the first list is from stated that, correct? No, so the first number is Community First. We have too many signatories. We even have signatories there that people are even working here. And if we're going to be authorization, it should be a limited authorization for fiscal. So, uh, so I don't believe that if you're the CFO, that other people should be doing with them. You're the CFO, you're the chief financial officer. So therefore, if people can have access to this limited, limited authority for inquiry only. So my understanding, all right, my understanding from talking to the bank, and I see them, I talked to the bank, this is what I was looking for clarification, for community first. So the functions of doing cash management, moving, so with initiating and approving these trials, for us to be able to actually pay people and for us to be able to do wire transfers that we do need people other than me to do that and we do currently not that. But but that would only need me back up. You don't need me to back No. So, right now uh Chavez is the backup you said. Right. So right now I am not and I am not the person that is doing wire transfers and payroll and cash management of moving us back and forth. That is being handled by the neither, office. Neither is Chavez. She's a backup. Yeah. So you would be the backup. Yeah, there's something to get wire that should have approval. Those are checks and balances. And if we're just a funny sign, it's just go for or this isn't this isn't every well it is everybody there's people out there that are really working this so I do not let chair those are the report chairman Mr. Sam but they're on their currently and currently hasn't been great this day out of chair and that's why I'm trying to I understand that what I'm trying to make is they should have limited physical authority and they should bring that work to the chief financial officer and they should sign off on it. That's their job. And if she wants to say that that's community first bank that's that's their policy. That those are their points. What's our institutional policy? You have that written that HR should be signed a signatory and, and Ms. Pino should be signatory. Is that on our 
constitutional goals. Well, we can, we, 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 can, we can modify that. We can modify that. And I'm telling what I understand, and, and that can be modified. Whether Carolyn is on that or not, if you want to put me as the third person is the backup, that could be instead of Carolyn. We do need Donna and Francina to yes. be on that. Yes, because Donna is uh, the paperwork. If you might, I, I'm not disagreeing with what is being discussed, but the, the recent things are being recommended is because one, that's their that's their responsibility. Right, Donna. The the other one is a backup. Francina. Francina. But Carolyn, Donna is in the HR office, and it's the HR office responsibility to make sure that. It's done. I'm, I'm not disagreeing that Dr. Nick can be back up. I'm just saying that that's why this is there. So if something happened to Donna, if something happened to Donna, then Carolyn is responsible for making sure that that happens. Is it the thought, responsibility of the office? I would have thought that Donna works in financial. She does. She is a director. She is a director. So what is she doing to make daughter? Well, I mean, so they're, they are tied, she used to work in HR, they are tied really, really close to me. And so Donna and Carolyn have to work really, really close to the other to make sure that every employee has its properly in the system, it's properly open in the system, that that just happened. And you know, that's limited fiscal. Responsibility of the It should be brought forward to you. You should make the team here to see it. Oh, I don't know why you're delegating work to somebody else and give the responsibility. So, my understanding. I really don't understand it. But I think that HR used to be seen, overseen with finance. They're no longer. So, why do we have that? We're, we're comparing the past to the present. And when he checks and out, says, you know what kind of chair I'd like to re revisit this in March with the bank, get clarification, and then I try to revisit it again in June. And we need to have a better understanding and ability in forward our finances. That is our fiduciary duty, I'm sure. Regardless of President Martinez's remarks or Dr. Carolyn's suggestions, we need to have limit liability for the people that are the CFO have, have the responsibility put forward. You're making money. Those responsibilities are yours. So I am I am recommending that I go on these accounts along with Dr. Martinez. So if you look at the proposed actions, if you look at the proposed actions on page two, what I'm recommending is that we remove John Reeves, uh for Gios, who was previously the secretary, right? And during what's on the account is then what's counted. And what I'm recommending is that we keep uh, Dr. Phyllis Martinez, who's the current chair, she was on there previously. Francina, retaining her on the community first, she's not on the Southwest County. And the Carolyn Chavez, Donna, and then Adam Martin. Dr. Edward Martinez, myself, and myself. And so I am recommending that I would go on those accounts and be responsible. Okay. Madam Chair, um, to the, oh, thank That, that's fine, Mr. Chair. For Theos and, and not to disagree with my colleagues, more importantly, this was never revisited. President Martinez, said, you are the leader of this institution. Correct? Is that correct? And answer that. Yes, I am the leader of this institution. Yeah, why was it brought forward? And why didn't he revisit this? My chair said, I took over. And why was he put up the checks? Because he was the check. That's the point I'm trying to make. Is we're doing everything 
from the past to the present now, trying to fix everything now. My, my understanding, and I, I could be wrong, my understanding from talking to people in my office is that we did try to get the, the signage changed when it changed the last time. However, I'm not, I'm just not in this role. I, I think maybe the point that Secretary Dominguez is trying to make is that there should be a system in place, a process in place, and a policy in place so that when there's changes in the board or there's changes in staffing, it is put on an agenda and the meeting, the street immediately after. So, so we, did, we did have that, and we have to have three minutes. And so I, I, have some, I, don't, I know that. I know that. We did do that. You don't need to explain that. What I'm saying is for the future, so I'm just going to be here. I'm going to call from the Bible when you see something say that you don't have to send these to the church. I, I, don't, I don't disagree. Yes, yes, I'm done. Trust, trust me, I'm not. I'm not. I've been a nice guy. I've been a nice guy. I've been a long time. I'm done. 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 i am done i so can I request so that maybe you put together a policy or uh, a process, something so that in the future this gets done right away. So you know, that's a day, I have but something so that when I don't <laughs> Madam, I'm, I'm, I'm Madam Chair. Uh, President. One, you know, uh, this is a good system actually now, but right. I signed twice to get that changed twice. I went in there with more or less than somebody else. Yeah. So, yeah. It, 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 but then nothing happened. Never so, I, I can understand that. But this is a good system and we can follow those same yeah. And I agree because I uh, sent uh, emails and emails from my board to get but again, in, in, uh, in Dr. Linder's event, you know, she had to come up with Susan and speak on behalf of the individual who was out and was happy. All we could do at this point is this is the like to say, and put a process in place. But I, I don't think we need a motion for that. Not sure. I'm 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 not sure. They're on there. It's on there. Item five. Item. Yeah. Item five. five. So right now, the bank account that Southwest Avenue, we don't do anything. We don't do really any of those functions from there. So right now, that's why that Francine and Lassie can look at you that account and, and see that, that she's not an authorized signer because of that. They, we don't do those functions that they out of that. They don't need the offer to sign. So what I'm proposing is that for Southwest Capital, it is Dr. Alyssa Martinez, it is my Dr. Uh, our Secretary Mark Dominguez, President Edward Martinez, and myself, our Southwest Capital. So I have one question. Why is it that no previous president has ever been put on that list? I thought I was going to ask you. Not Rael, not Patterson. I don't, well, I don't know how to change other schools. No, not other schools. I'm talking about Luna. I, I wasn't here during that time. So why are we doing it now? Why didn't we push with what was done in the past? Well, when we talked in the fiscal office and in the finance and talked with the bank, this was the recommendation. But it is your decision as a board. Thank you. 
It's up to it's up to the government. So the other recommend people. So one of the things that I wanted one of the reasons one of the one of the reasons that we talked about it to Abby Dr. Martinez is because when the position was vacant for a pretty long time, he did not have access to finding out what the financial situation was. Okay, so let's get this clear. We're going to take action. Um, we do a motion here. We're looking at uh, Chair Dr. Phyllis Martinez. You have Francina. We still sticking with Francina on this. Okay, and then um, the monitor. Yeah. No. No. No, I do not block her. To take charge. And then Victor uh, Martinez and Donna. Yeah, and then uh, Dr. Linder, when you want to advance, because the Martinez is not treated. The Martinez needs to be the signature. They're turned into the president's own class. I mean, a few phone calls to some other schools and other colleges. The president's not the signature. He also needs to get direction and do other signatory approval. And that's the limited fiscal inquiry responsibility there. So, uh, mentioned that you put Dr. Martinez. So, in the past, when we had that position vacant, and then uh, William, Dr. William Taylor was, he was not, the account actually wasn't taken because he was interim. Dr. Martinez was essentially the person that, in the absence of the VP, he is the person that needs to be able to get access to those accounts. And so, in the absence of a VP of finance, he did not have access to any information about on bank statements, or he could not get in the file of that information. So, if he's removed, who will replace him? We can have as many as we want. We can have as many as we want, right? Or we can have five. The, the bank doesn't specifically say how many so It's not slots or anything like that. Now, my only concern is that we never have a president on, on the bench because we always have the CFO. It's back to the CFO's job. And I, I'm definitely. <laughs> And so, however, if I got hit by a bus tomorrow, there would still be people in the office who could give him access. That's all the bank requires. They asked me when when they called me. They asked me to be able to give you the list, give you access. I said yes. Yeah. So there's always someone there that can give access. If hopefully never. Get hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> so I will entertain a motion to remove the following individuals that authorized signers on account held at Community First Bank of Las Vegas. Uh, I, it should be just Community First and Southwest Capital slash Bank of Las Vegas. Correct. So, yes, yeah, we're removing from both banks. Yeah. So, just not but currently, Don Reed-Wallace is on the community first. It's this be Bank Nelson. Is that a typo? Yeah, no, it, it has been property on the community first, it's community first, and cost it is. And then actually, yeah, the street is only on sales. Yeah. yeah, but they're saying that they added bank, community first bank, Las Vegas. Uh, I don't know why you put that. That's what you I looked at the, I looked at the website last night, how they, what their proper name was. And they have kept it the normal and so that's why you're specifying Las Vegas. 
And actually, if you just say community first bank, it means all the credit. Okay, I was just trying to make sure that I had the proper name of the senior. Okay, so we're going to make uh, a motion for one motion to merge. Right, one motion to remove. To remove. Right. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. 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 Now, my name is Well, let me read the motion just to Okay, I would like to entertain a motion to report Donna Marie Bonet from Community First, Luis Portillo from Community First. No, we're going to do two more. That's what hard work. That right. Separate, separate. Excellent. They can say they're not there. We file the game. I don't even know how. I'm going to go there. Okay. We'll so a motion to remove Donna Marie Claudia and Luis Portillo from signatory and at the community first. No. Don't. Okay. Sorry. Stop. Again, uh, like the director explained, when when the office was made, the CFO office was made, even though we had an interim, 
that intern didn't have access. If I were to go to the bank, they wouldn't talk to me. And so, yes, I had to rely on other individuals to find out information about what was going on. So, do you think that each in the institution? Well, I, I like, like Trustee Lumigia said, I'm the leader of the institution. So, why wouldn't I have access to what is going on in the bank? Okay. In order to be able to discuss with you and report to you what is going on. Yes, sir. I'd like just the president to have limited authority to fiscal and financial input. That's what you want. You say you need to fight out there. That's what you should have. No other past president has had in the past. Madam Chair, hey, I'm going to stand on the ground. That's how it's been. It's open for discussion. All this can disagree with me, and that's fine. We're all seven individuals with seven different personalities. So, like, I'm right there. Six, actually. Uh, I, I, I think it's that's what it's. Uh, uh, access to the information. So right now, operated, and that's fine also. Excuse me. Right now, we have four. The no, same. I can't. To uh, leave it. To leave. Okay. Then that's the can you, and you. Yes. So that's four. Okay. So we don't need any anyone else. Okay. The the other issue we have is that do we need a motion to read? Jacqueline, Carolyn, for Tennessee on Chalice. Yes. I think it's, yeah. But it's not on the agenda. Well, this is part of the agenda. So do we need to amend? Well, I think you don't include her in this motion. No, so, it's not removed unless it's a resolution. So I think on the, on the, on the agenda, it says removal. Right? So my, 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 my motions are not are just for folks and so we need a motion and we have a vote so i think but she said she would not let me see what the agenda is okay i can add another motion that we could add the action item is removal them from take on it okay i'll make another i'll entertain another motion to remove hr director jackson carolyn for jeff thomas from all of the accounts, which would include Southwest Capital and Community First. Madam Chair, I'd like to make that motion to remove that and tell the Council's office from all the accounts that have no signature on that motion. I'll second. Okay, and um, roll call. Madam Chair, Dr. Phillips Martinez? Yes. Madam Chair, Martino? Yes. Secretary March. Yes. Dr. Gilbert Bennett. Yes. Chunky Diana Adams. Yes. Chunky. Yes. Chunky Marshall Cartago. May I ask a question? Sure. Okay, so this function has over. Um, should we take and have a function in the major? Uh, I'm going to be a to this. Okay, to remove the following people. The, the motion that we just made now was to remove okay. HR director uh, from uh, oh. a Dr. Ice Steiner on the South Town Tax Community First and Southwest County. So the motion that's there, we're just going to do the same thing, second motion. And instead of having these other people there, we're just going to have one person.
Vote vote, um, Madam Chair. Dr. Phyllis Martinez? Yes. Madam Chair Lee Portino? Yes. Secretary Martin Yes. Trustee Dr. Gilbert Sena? Yes. Trustee Diana Adam? Yes. Trustee Catherine? Yes. Trustee Rosalie Martinez? Madam Chair. Yes. yes. I would like you to propose that we revisit this in March with possibly the banks coming to say this representative. So we can have checks and balances and check control modules to see where we're at, what we're doing, so that we don't get excuse after excuse after excuse. Bank with this and a bank with that. And we also follow up. We need to do a better job at the board and put it on the past and now. And I would make that recommendation. To add that to the agenda for March. Okay, I'll can I can I have one point? I can ask one question just about this. Going back to you know, if you go back to the background that all and look at two, three, and four, right? So right now we took action and we're removing her loose, right? Yeah. I'm not sure. But our uh, secretary to me, she was suggesting that I be the person that placed that on there. So on the, remember, this list is who is currently on. I understand that. This, this is the new list. So I, you're already on there. Okay, but specifically for wire transfers, it's for everything. It's so a, right now. Right now, currently, and I agree with you, Mr. Carroll, right now, my understanding is that for cash management, cost of pay, and wire agreement, they will remove Carol and then it will just be my Sina and Donna. And you and all these other people, because they're all on the list. The, the motion doesn't specify wire transfers or signatories or drawdowns or uploads. Well, it, so, of course, we, we don't have a motion for that, but she did it. We removed all the people. So, we don't have a motion specifically for upload, approved, wire transfers, etc. Right? Dr. Kelly, are you finding a specific line item motion for positive pay and wire? Well, I'm just trying to clarify. I'm just trying to clarify. Uh, it, and I, I agree with you that there was specifically a motion on that, but I'm just trying to clarify that I can go that what the board wants me to do is be the third person, not here on the ability to do this. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, but I don't think it has to be a specific okay. one. Okay. Because you're already you already have the new chair authority. Right? Next person to come back. Yeah. And I think you would be third, but okay, that's okay. But I think you're But these other player. people have their yeah. job specific. She should supersede everybody with the supernatural. But she would only be a backup because the other people are paid to do this. That's their job. The other one specific. Right? Right. And so right now, Donna is, is the person yeah. that has the payroll. Right now, if we need to do a wire agreement or we need to do cash management, the controller is responsible for doing this. Prestina. So, right now, it is the controller's job to do that. So, there's two backups for each one of those there's you and Prestina or you and Donna. Okay. Uh, next item. Executive session. Trustee Medina. Morning, manager. Thank you very much. I may I like to make motion we go into executive session. A committed personnel matter as permitted by NMSA 1978, section 10 15 1, H2 as amended of the Open Meeting Act for specific residence evaluation. That's my motion. Second. Second. We have two seconds, so I just put GS and LP. Oh, and put, all right. Put LP. Women take difference. 